Hi and welcome. The wheel toys K989 and 284131 both comes with a open diff in the front and in the rear. Or actually, when you buy these cars as new, the diffs sometimes are very very tight so it almost works as a lock diff. But there's a fix for that, there's a link up here on how to fix that. In the last video, we took this one and then we put a lock diff in the rear, open diff in the front, and saw how well did it actually drift like that, because some real drift cars are set up like that. But this time, we're gonna do the opposite. We're going to put a open diff in the rear and a locked diff in the front and keep on the rubber tires and see how well it races on a carpet track. And why are we gonna do that? Yeah, the reason is this one. As some of you may have noticed, we also race with these 110 scale uh, touring cars in a club level. And these cars, they are also 4x4 touring cars. So they are somehow comparable to the K989. In these cars, they have a open diff in the back with oil in, of course, so it's not fully open, but it's, it's not that tight. But in the front, these cars has a lock diff. Yeah, we have, you can see it here. We call it a spool in these cars. So why do we have that? Why do we have a lock diff in the front? Because as we talked about earlier, when we go around a turn on the track, the inner wheel, if we go this way, has a shorter distance to travel than the outer wheel. And therefore, the outer wheel must turn faster than the inner wheel. And that's what we have the diff for. But we cannot do that in this car because it has a lock diff. And the reason why we do that is when we make this corner for a in these touring cars, we drive around the corners very fast. It starts leaning to one side, which means there's only a little weight on the inner tire. And if we didn't have a lock diff and we apply some throttle, it would simply just slip. And all the power would go through the slipping wheel and not much steering and forward driving force on this wheel. So by having a lock diff, you can go hard on the throttle when you're going out of the out of the curves, out of the turn. That's one of the benefits on having a, a lock diff. And in this 110 scale touring cars on carpet track, everybody runs with a lock diff in the front because it's simply faster. So let's uh, do some tests. First, we take the car as it is, open diff in front and rear, do a test run on the track, see what track times we can get. Then we will recharge the battery and put a front, oh sorry, a lock diff in the front and see if our lap times are getting better or worse. So, stay on and see how the test goes.
and here are the results. On average, we the lap time with the with the open diffs were 4.18 seconds, but using a closed front diff, we had an average lap time of 3.98 seconds. So that's two tenths of a second faster using a closed front diff. That's actually a 4.8 percent improvement, and that's actually a lot. So the question now, should you do this, run your K989 or 284131 for that sake, uh, with a closed front diff? Well, it's maybe not that easy to say yes or no, because there were two things in this. First is, I talked with the driver. He didn't see the results of the tester. He didn't know if he was faster with closed or open diff in the front, but he actually felt it was faster and easier to drive with a open diff in the front, like stock. Also, we actually broke the uh, the diff in the front, and that's if maybe that could have happened anyways, I don't know, but that is the first time ever that we ever break anything on the K989, and that was in this test. And of course, the, the, the diff is on a higher strain because because it's locked and, and we have a lot of grip on the carpet. So that do put some force on the diff cups. And maybe that's why it broke, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. So my recommendation is try to test it out, see what works the best for you. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Next time we'll do some more improvement to this K989. We will see if we can make it uh, drive any faster by upgrading the radio. I think that's a point where it can be a lot faster, but more on that next time, so please subscribe and stay tuned. See you next time.